Hello, welcome back to another city update. This is city update number nine. And um, yeah, we did a couple changes. Uh, before we get into that, like and subscribe. And let's get into it now. Okay, so this first building, I don't think there's been any major changes to it. Other than I just, I used the uh, the two by fours that were gonna go from like here down there. I just put them over up here to finish, to try to finish off this building. Just because this isn't going to get finished off for another little bit. Uh, so, yeah, we did that. Um, shoot. Something we did more major over here is we actually um, finished the first floor of this this uh, new Iceberg Lounge moth that I'm building. Now, I think there are a few things that have to change. Because I think it's... Or the height is pretty good, but... I think I want to raise it one more stud, actually. Or maybe not, actually. I think that looks fine. But um, we finished the first floor, and the second and third floor are going to come back probably for the next city update. I'm, I'm hoping to ha get those done. Um, I think I should both do that. Just because I wanted to make it smaller just so I could fit more room. I still don't know what I want to do over here, so I'll start brainstorming like how I can do that alley type thing. But now that I'm thinking about it, that goes right here, and I think I want to move it actually about like six studs just so I can have like a little alley running down the strip there, like a climb alley from Batman. Uh, maybe, maybe. I, I'm not 100% sure, cause, just because this still has to open. I could do that on the other side just because just it wouldn't be as uh, noticeable. The only thing I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed about is I wanted to have leave... 16 a uh, base like a 16 by whatever uh base plate so that i could be able to do the if i get the diagonal alley set i could be able to get to just put that along the, the, the back there so it would like be integrated into the city um but i don't think i'm gonna get that just because it's really expensive and um i could buy a lot of other lego with that like parts for the city so i'm not gonna not gonna get that i think i, I think but uh, that would be really good to get. So yeah, this will probably this will be done by the next city update, will which will be in two weeks. So uh, the next Wednesday, and then another thing we're doing over here is we're work, working on this tank. I'm redoing my other one, making it much larger. I think this is like this was originally how long and wide up, or it's probably like this much wider. But now I'm making it like an extra four studs wider, I think. And then, what is that? I mean, two studs longer. And then we have all the gears and stuff uh, finished. We had all that done. So we'll be able to, we'll be ready to, uh, to, to do that. I'm just working on the base that that's going to be supported on. We have all the treads here. And then this is the, this is my old, like the head turret thing. But I want to make it so this can go up and up and down. Which I think would be really cool, and I just and I know just the part that can do that and make it look really good. And then I want to use um, I want to use this part right here as a hatch to open it, just because I think that looks really cool with a printed grail part. So I want to use that because that part looks really, really, really interesting. And I think I have like two of those things. So you're gonna use that, I think. And then I'm gonna redo this, the front of this tank there, just so that looks better. And then probably try to figure out a better way to do that glass. So that looks better. And um, obviously this weekend is Easter weekend. Um, so I'm gonna try to get a bunch of details done on the city. Um, I'm probably gonna start, I wanna start doing this building here. This is the school. I'm actually gonna change it up a little bit, just so that I can, um, just so that it doesn't like blend in with all the buildings, and it looks pretty good. So I want to use a bunch of other details. I think what we're gonna do is, is have the building, like, some some more interesting angles and stuff, so that that looks like much different. It looks, you know, different than all the other buildings that I'm working on. Um, So yeah, we added the Outriders, we added the guys with the guns again, and then I, I really like these tank traps, I did have one more, but, 
Oh, right there. One, two, three. And then I'm hoping maybe I'll get, like, two or three more. I think those would be really cool. If you haven't seen them, it's just, like, a, this contraption using a Travis brick. Two one by ones and then tiling that off. So that looks really good. Because... I've seen some other ones, but like they use like really, like they use one by six t uh, tiles. So it, it looks pretty skinny, but I think this is more accurate as it's thicker uh, and it's concrete and stuff. So that looks pretty good. I added the stop sign here for a bus and I'm, that's gonna go somewhere. I, I just put it there for now, just so that like adds a little bit more detail. I don't actually have a bus though. So I need to get, get a bus for that. So the next city update, what you'll see is You'll see this. I'm gonna, that'll be kind of being worked on, been worked on, and then you'll probably see the first floor outline, and it'll look a lot better than that. Next, we're gonna have this completely done. This completely done. This one modified. And and, and yeah, I'm I'm also uh, I, I want to make a parts order, but. I have to wait a little bit. I think I'm gonna wait probably till next VIP, double VIP points, so I can get those and then use that money to to buy more Lego later. But um, yeah, I want to. I think do a little room thing thing too. I actually sorted out. I actually put like a bunch of parts in a bunch of these. Um, uh, like this one. I actually was filming this video in, uh, yesterday, and the footage didn't come out the best, but I was filming it, and I pulled out this drawer here, and it pulled out this one too, and there's like a big bug right there. It's really gross. I had to kill that thing. Um, and then I actually also added these uh, little bins up here for videos. Uh, like put like videos in here, and then like put shorts, the short little minifigures in there. I don't know if I'm gonna, I wanna, I need to get more ideas for shorts. Just because I've done a, a lot of my customs already. You know, maybe I can find some other stuff here to do. Or some completely new ones that would look pretty cool. Um, just because I want to try to make mine original. My design's original. I know that green arrow that one re did really well. Just because it is so different. I've never seen that done. And then I want to do some little upgrades on the, the, uh, the Harry Potter man figures. But I gotta just, I have to see what uh, what I can do to change them up. And um, let's see what else. I added a little missile up here, and then actually added a missile f shooting from this helicopter. I gotta add missiles and or not missiles. I gotta add people into the planes and stuff. I'm gonna put uh, I have a commercial plane over here. I'm gonna put uh, this this. I think I'm gonna destroy it. Get the instructions, rebuild it, and then it'll be more st stable. Just because the inside of this, this part right here is kind of loose. This plate, so I'm gonna redo that, and then I'm gonna put it. Uh, probably, I'm gonna put it definitely higher above. It's probably gonna be like if that's the Quinjet. I'm gonna raise the Quinjet up with two, but I'm gonna make this plane like probably up here, uh, just so that looks better. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Um, if you liked the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one.